hello and welcome back to this youtube channel so today it is our second class related to the daily news analysis which is for the second july as if you are the daily visitor of this channel you would be knowing that we had started this initiative to coop to help you uh, help you in preparing for the upsc 2025 and if you don't know i want to tell you one thing that in the evening we would uh, take up 10 to 15 questions for the prelims preparation for 2025 uh, those questions would be prelims related in which uh, 5 to 10 questions would be related to the current news analysis uh, which we discuss and 10 to 50, 15 questions would be 5 questions would be related to the last year question papers so by that we would uh, try to complete uh, the whole uh, you know uh, every question which was uh, asked till now uh, in the UPSC papers and discuss them and uh, we would try to learn from them how to prepare for our next prelims exam so uh, this is my sincere request to you guys please do stay with me you know this uh, session would be very interesting for you guys and I uh, I'm very much sure that uh, I would be able to explain every topic in it perfectly to you guys and in a very simple language mostly I would try to explain these things in Hindi and if I, I'm not able to properly express in Hindi then I would use English uh, instead so before uh, we start uh, this uh, session I would request you guys please do subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends let us start uh, our uh, analysis first we would look at the topics which we have to discuss hame pehle pehla topic jo hame padhna hai aaj ke session mein wo hai israel hamas war its impact iska impact kya raha israel pe uh, is it losing this war so with this regard we would discuss this topic fir dusra topic hai unemployment and its impact on electoral role electoral price hum iske bare mein dekhenge iske bare mein we would try to understand money things then the third uh, important topic is uh, water anonymity uh, how it is important in today's world and we will discuss uh, the, the topics related to it fir hum padhenge agenda for 16th finance commission what should be the agenda for it and uh, who is the chairman of it what are his recommendations we will discuss that then uh, we have to discuss about the june gst collections फिर हम पढ़ेंगे इंजीनियर रशीद टू टेक ओथ बिकॉज ही इज़ इन द प्रजन सो इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वी वुड डिस्कस द आर्टिकल्स रिलेटेड टू इट उसके बाद हम प्रोजेक्ट नेक्सस पढ़ेंगे बिटवीन आर बी आई एंड फोर आर सीन मेम्बर्स फिर उसके बाद हम पढ़ेंगे इंडिया साउथ कोरिया सीपा और उसके बाद यू डब्ल्यू सी एन सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स आवर फर्स्ट टॉपिक जो यहाँ पे राइटर जो कहना चाहता है कि वो ही रेज अ क्वेश्चन कि क्या इसराइल वो इज इसराइल लूजिंग इट्स वॉर अगेंस्ट हमास इसके बैकग्राउंड में बिफोर वी गो टू द बिफोर वी गो टू द डिस्कशन वी शुड नो फ्यू थिंग्स अबाउट इट वी शुड हैव लिटिल आइडिया अबाउट द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ इट आई नो दिस इज वेरी ओल्ड टॉपिक एंड एवरीबडी हियर वुड बी वेरी मच कम्फर्टेबल इन इट वुड बी वेरी मच इंफॉर्मेटिव about this topic so let us recap few things in it uh, actually start to both policy hua but recently kab hua tha october 7 when hamas attacked in israel and killed many people there you know we don't need to remember how many people died there we just need this is not the important for this is not that important for us with respect to the prelims with respect to our upsc so what is important it is the hamas's attack on israel then it israel's retaliation to uh, hamas and ham and the and this war which is still going on jab uh, hamas pe 7 october pe attack hua tha hamas ne attack kiya tha israel pe to so israel retaliated but iske paas uh, teen char motives very important for them where ki wo retaliate kyun karenge pehla ki jo is uh, 7 october pe hua tha it should not, never be repeated एवर इन द लाइफ टाइम मतलब कि इसके बाद ए सात अक्टूबर कभी नहीं होना चाहिए दूसरा उनका मोटिव था टू कम्प्लीटली वाइप आउट हमास तीसरा टू फ्री इट्स हो स्टेज विच वायर विद द हमास एंड चौथा टू लेबल हमास इक्वल टू आई एस आई एस 
तो हुआ क्या वो शुड वी नो दैट अब इस वॉर को तकरीबन नौ महीने से ज़्यादा हुए अभी भी चल रहा है बट टिल नाउ इसराइल इज़ नॉट सक्सेसफुल इन वाइपिंग आउट हमास इसका एक मेन जो रीज़न ऑथर दे रहा है अपने आर्टिकल में वो कह रहा है कि इट इज़ नॉट ईजी फॉर इसराइल टू वाइप आउट हमास बिकॉज जितने भी वो हमास के जितना भी वो अटैक कर रहा है फ़लस्तीन पे दैट वो पुश कर रहा है फ़लस्तीन जो फ़लस्तीन के लोग रहने वाले टू जॉइन द हमास सो इट इज़ नॉट दैट ईजी फॉर इसराइल दूसरा दे आर नॉट अब तकरीबन नौ महीने हुए इतनी मतलब कि तकरीबन इफ वी वुड नो दैट वन पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ फलस्तीन हैज़ बीन किल्ड एंड थ्री पॉइंट टू परसेंट ऑफ इट्स पॉपुलेशन इज़ वॉन्डेड और पूरा डिस्ट्रॉय किया तकरीबन लेकिन बट स्टिल दे आर नॉट एबल टू फ्री देयर होस्टेज सो इट इज़ वन ऑफ द ड्रॉप वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट इवेंट विच लेबल्स दैट इसराइल इज लूजिंग द वॉर तीसरा कि दे आर नॉट एबल टू इक्वल हमास दे आर नॉट एबल टू इक्वेट हमास टू आई एस आई एस बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट दैट मच ईजी वी हैड सीन द वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड थाट्स आर डिफरेंट एज वी हैड सीन साउथ अफ्रीका दे फाइल केस अगेंस्ट इसराइल वी हैड सीन डिफरेंट कन्फ्लिक्ट एंड वी हैड सीन डिफरेंट ग्लोबल सिचुएशन With, with related to that, so Israel is not very much successful in obtaining its motives till now. So that is why the uh, Israel that the author is saying that the Israel is do- losing this war. What did uh, now the question is what did uh, Israel achieve till date? Till now, what did it achieve? If we would see in a broader uh, perspective, it has achieved the global isolation. We had seen. <coughs> we can say israel is facing this tragic defeat it had uh, global isolation is commonly hai we had seen that south africa going to the international court of justice we had seen that uh, usa is uh, now uh, trying to withdraw its support in this war we had seen that uh, many countries are against uh, this uh, this attack of uh, uh, israel on uh, palestinian territory एंड ऑल्सो अगर हम दूसरी बात देखा जाएगा बिफोर दिस अक्टूबर सेवनटीन जो इसराइल्स रिलेशन विद अरबियन कंट्रीज दे वर वेरी मच इम्प्रूविंग हम अगर देखेंगे दे हैड ऑलरेडी कनेक्टेड विद यू ए विद अदर अरबियन कंट्रीज दे वर यू एस ए वॉज मीडिएटिंग बिटवीन सऊदी अरबिया एंड इसराइल बट ड्यू टू दिस अटैक ड्यू टू दिस करंट वॉर सिचुएशन वट हैपन दैट ऑल द अरब कंट्रीज हैड शट दियर Uh, talks with israel so it has further uh, we can say escalated the gap between israel and the arab nations and also this led to the conflict between uh, which is we can say it is still a, the indirect conflict but at few cases we had seen the retaliation from iran direct, direct attacks from iran to israel and uh, israel attacks on iran so conflict with iran has increased we had seen hezbollah attacks which are in lebanon so this had also impacted israel in a very bad way so in nutshell if we would uh, try to say that the this war has not helped israel in any way in fact it has degraded its respect in the world uh, right now uh, so let's uh, try to summarize this article uh, in this article what the author tries to say is that israel is losing against hamas it ha- it is getting this strategic defeat because it is not able to get its motives what were the motives of israel in fact it is getting isolated globally isolated so this is the this this is the sim- if we would try to get this article in nutshell these are the simple few words which you have to remember these are some key words which you should know which are which you are able to, which you you are able to see on the your screen so with that let's move to the next it is about the unemployment and its electoral price it is uh, this article was written by the subramanian swami so he highlighted a few things which are very much important uh, for the, for the upsc aspirant in do agar hum dekhenge to jo uh, inka motive tha ye dikhana chahte the ki why bjp lost many seats so we don't have to go to that touch hame wo wo area touch nahi karna but we, there are some important points which we can uh, note down in our notebook and uh, which may be useful for us in 
next prelims or in the mains if anybody would be applying for so in this article may few important points are the number of pehla point the number of people joining labor forces are increasing annually we have, we have seen that annually more than 11 million people are uh, joining the labor force these people uh, get access to job opportunities in market which help in manufacturing and which will help us to achieve the 5 trillion economic economy but the real question is <coughs> are they able to get the this job uh, how does it impact our economy uh, what what kind of growth we are uh, seeing right now here if we would, if, if we would see that uh, we, by on paper we are seeing that we are able to achieve high gdp growth rate which is uh, approximately around 8% number of uh, job generated but the problem here is that the number of jobs generated are are not matching here we have to see one thing which is that uh, the, our uh, e e indian economy is it is express what the the if we would uh, see one thing that the what the recovery what is case shaped recovery that uh, one part of the uh, uh, population is uh, uh, is very much improving and the another part is very much uh, not in uh, is not improving at all they they are getting degraded so there is inequality in economy so this is what case shaped recovery shows this further says that there is the uh, concentration of wealth there is concentration of uh, employment so there uh, uh, there we can see the concentration of income and wealth is there which leads to the income inequality there is gender uh, uh, wage gap is there so all this is shown in the all, all this is mentioned in, in this article so by this article what uh, subramanian swami tries to explain is that because of these reasons that we, uh, the government is not able to find the jobs for the people we are not uh, we are uh, the recovery with the gdp growth which the government is showing that that is not that much we cannot trust that much gdp with the gdp growth which the government is showing also the uh, recovery which uh, india is going through it is case shaped that there is inequality in growth in inequality in uh, inequality in uh, growth inequality in a wage uh, wage gap and all that stuff so what are the concerns lead to uh, uh, here we have we have here the concerns are related to how we how we are measuring the gdp because uh, of our, because government is using the expenditure method when if we know that when government will borrow the money expenditure will increase this kind of growth is not sustainable jab government uh, when we use the expenditure method the government will borrow more and more money and uh, they will invest it in, in it in expenditure to uske wajah se kya hoga ki ki hame de hame dikhega ki gdp growth ho rahi hai but kriti uh, kehte hai ki this is not that much sustainable so these uh, are few points which the he, which the kriti says now let's recap it i know it got very much jumbled so first thing which we ha- which was mentioned in this article that number of people joining labor force are increasing which are more than 11 million people uh, we are not able to create jobs for them if they will help in manufacturing this would lead to the um, uh, growth of our economy which which is our aim to get 5 trillion uh, uh, 5 trillion economic growth and also <coughs> uh, if a gdp uh, uh, if a gdp growth is there but uh, the critics are saying that it is not that much well explanatory because uh, wo kehte hai ki our country is going through the case shaped recovery in which one sector of the population is increasing in its economy and the other sector is very much degrading in its economy so what uh, the author is trying to say that the gdp growth it is very much misleading we should not trust it and aur ek baat kya kehta hai author ki aur jo hamara method of of getting the gdp Uh, wo hai expenditure method in, in expenditure method what the government does is uh, they will borrow more money and expand it more which would indirectly which would directly show that the gdp is growing but that is not the case but here we can we have to give our counter arguments which are as india here <coughs> few of the counter arguments which we should know that 
Indian economy is not, we should know that it is not expressing the K-shaped uh, recovery. Why? Because look at per capita income, it has doubled, our per capita income has doubled, GDP uh, numbers are increasing, GDP growth rate is highest uh, till now, household expenditure has increased whether it would be food or non-food, number of poor people has been, has decreased also from 10, 10 to 15 percent, number of poor people has decreased. So we cannot say that uh, the, what the author is uh, criticizing the government in this article, that is 100% true. Yeah, there are some concerns which we should know that, but that is not 100% true. We, our economy is growing. We had seen the household expenditure, which is also in, which ha, which is also increased. We had seen the poor decrease in poor people population from 10 to 15%. So there are some, uh, you know, there are some certain arguments. Uh, in respect to, to the author's claims. So I hope uh, this article was uh, very much uh, is helpful to you guys. So uh, let's recap it one more time. But I will try this time in pure Hindi. Ismay Subramanyam Swami Saab kya kehte hai ki BJP ne kyo election hara. Wo kuch reasons dete. Wo kehte hai ki jo hamara 11 million people hai wo labor force join kar raha hai. और हमारी जो जीडीपी ग्रोथ है वो मतलब कि वो तो इंक्रीज हो रही है बट दैट इज वेरी मिसलीडिंग क्योंकि वी आर सीइंग द के शेप ऑफ रिकवरी वो मतलब कहना चाहते हैं कि एक तब का जो पॉपुलेशन का है वो बहुत ही अच्छा उनकी इकोनॉमी इंक्रीज हो रही है और जो दूसरा तब का है वो उनकी इकोनॉमी बहुत डिक्रीज हो रही है मतलब कि अमीर ज्यादा अमीर बन रहे और गरीब ज्यादा गरीब हो रहे और वो तीसरा एक चीज कहता है कि जो हमारा वे ऑफ मेजरिंग द इकोनॉमी जीडीपी ग्रोथ इट इज एक्सपेंडिचर बेस्ड और जब कोई जब ये एक्सपेंडिचर बेस्ड होता है तो गवर्नमेंट क्या करता है वो ज्यादा बोरो करेगा मार्केट से और वो ज्यादा एक्सपेंड वो मतलब कि ज्यादा खर्च करेगा और जिसकी वजह से हमें लगेगा कि हमारी इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ हो रही है सो बिकॉज़ ऑफ दीस रीजंस द गवर्नमेंट जो गवर्नमेंट दे आर नॉट एबल टू क्रिएट द जॉब्स उसकी वजह से क्या हुआ कि उसका इंपैक्ट सीधे इलेक्शंस पे पड़ा और बीजेपी ने बहुत जगहों से अपने सीट सारी बट इसका एक काउंटर आर्गुमेंट है कि मतलब जो हमें पता होना चाहिए कि वी आर नॉट फेस एक्सप्रेसिंग द के शेप ऑफ इकोनॉमी बिकॉज़ अगर हम देखेंगे आवर पर कैपिटल इनकम इट हैज डबलड GDP numbers are increasing, GDP growth rate is highest and household expenditure whether it is food or non-food based, it, is, it has also increased. Or the important part is that number of poor people has decreased by 10 to 15 percent. So these are few things which we need to know about this article. So let's move to the... article which is uh, tools to ensure water anonymity iske bare mein before understanding this topic we have to uh, get an example of an incident which happened in maharashtra to wahan pe kya hua ki voting machine thi voters vote dal rahe the within few jab closing day time tha unke kuch minute pehle voting machine ne kaam karna band kiya so uski wajah se kya hua ki ek voter raha tha usko vote dalna tha uske liye naye sare se voting machine lai gayi aur usne vote dala to isse kya hua ki anonymity of the voter this question came to the existence so with respect to the anonymity of voter we have the election rules of 1961 in which election commission of india protects provisions uh, privacy of the voter so in the election, election rules of 1960, we have Rule 56. What does Rule 56 does the rule 56 say? It says that the returning officer can reject the vote if there is any mar marking on the ballot paper. If there is any ballot paper, when it was a little bit of ballot paper, if there was a little bit of marking, what does the returning officer do? He does not reject it. Because if there is a little bit of marking, he does not want to put it in the ballot paper. And what does it do? उस इंसान की प्रवेशी खतरे में आती दूसरी बात टू प्रोटेक्ट द प्रवेशी ऑफ द वोटर और दूसरा है रूल 59 ड्यूरिंग काउंटिंग दे यूज्ड टू मिक्स द वोट्स नाउ ड्यू टू ईवीएम इट मतलब कि ड्यूरिंग काउंटिंग रूल 59 सेज दैट यू ड्यूरिंग काउंटिंग वो क्या करते थे वो वोट्स को मिक्स करते थे सो so, उससे क्या होता था कि किसी कंस्टिट्यूएंसी में किसी मतलब कि किसी जगह जहां पे वोट्स डाले गए 
तो एक आइडिया मिलता था पॉलिटिशियन को कि मेरे यहाँ कितने वोट्स मिले तो वो जब ये मतलब कि वो जब उनको मिक्स करते थे सो इट प्रोटेक्टेड द द प्राइवेसी ऑफ दैट वी कैन से कंस्टिट्यूंसी और वी कैन से दैट प्लेस वायर दोज वोट्स वायर मतलब जहाँ पे वो वोट डाले गए थे उस जगह की प्राइवेसी ये मतलब कि सेफ गार्ड करता था बट फिर ई वी एम्स आए और ई वी एम्स के लिए एक मशीन रिकमेंड की थी इट वॉज प्रपोज बैक इन टू थाउजेंड एट इसका नाम था टोटलाइजर वाट डज इट वॉज डेवलप्ड बाई भारत इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लिमिटेड एंड इसमें क्या होता था ट्वेल्व पोलिंग बूथ विल बी कनेक्टेड टूगेदर इलेक्शन कमीशन वॉज इन फेवर ऑफ इट इन टोटलाइजर ट्वेल्व पोलिंग बूथ विल बी कनेक्टेड टूगेदर एंड उसके बाद काउंटिंग होती थी एक एक बाय बाय मतलब कि एक स्विच दबाने से पूरा रिजल्ट आता था कि किस कैंडिडेट को कितने वोट्स मिले थे मगर इस टोटलाइजर को लाने के लिए गवर्नमेंट को इलेक्शन रूल्स ऑफ नाइनटीन सिक्सटी अमेंड करना पड़ेगा बट व्हाट आर द कंसर्न रिलेटेड टू द टोटलाइजर हियर वी कैन सी दैट देयर कुड बी द डेटा ब्रीच ऑल्सो बूट वाइज इंफॉर्मेशन विल नॉट बी अवेलेबल जितना ही बूट वाइज इंफॉर्मेशन कंसर्न है उतना ही वो बेनिफिशियल भी है कि एक कैंडिडेट के लिए कि फलानी जगह मुझे कितने वोट्स मिले तो उसी लिहाज से या वो कितने वोट्स एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे थे सो देयर शुड बी नो मॉल प्रैक्टिस देयर सो इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ये टोटलाइजर ये इस चीज़ को नेगलेक्ट करता है सो देयर इज़ नो बूट वाइज इंफॉर्मेशन इफ टोटलाइजर इज यूज एंड ऑल्सो वट डज इट हेल्प इट हेल्प it helps in in the protecting the identity of the voter so uh, this is how the totalizer uh, is useful and this is how it would be helpful for uh, the future in indian elections so let's recap this tools to ensure voter anonymity we have election rules of 1961 jahan pe we have uh, in that we have rule 56 in which the returning officer can reject the vote then we have rule 59 in which the anonymity those votes were mixed from different boots polling boots then we have totalizer it is a it was it is a machine which was developed in 2008 by bharat electronics limited it will help in collecting 14 polling boots uh, in connecting 14 polling booths together then what are the concerns with it there could be data breach there could be boot wise information will not be available and also it will help in protecting the identity of the voter now let's move to the next topic which is the agenda for 16th finance commission so it has it uh, this 16th finance in, finance, uh, finance commission has been set up its chairman's name is arvin something i don't remember his full name but it is starting with arvin Uh, what does he recommended he recommended that the centralized database of previous finance commissions should be <coughs> there there should be a centralized database which contains the previous finance commissions recommendations jo previous finance commissions ke recommendations se wo they should be collected in a uh, in a database which would be available for uh, the next finance commissions to discuss to see what were the ideas given in them and with related to that to frame their recommendations <coughs> so here what should be the agenda for the finance commission it is the local bodies and financing them this should be the agenda of the finance commission agar hum dekhenge world bank report ke uh, 2002 world bank report to what does it says that by 2030 600 million people or uh, 6 600 million people are going to live in cities which is 40% in cities Uh, it so for that it requires huge infrastructural support government has by which government has to spend a huge number of money <coughs> by 4000% investment in urban bodies is to be increased also 75 uh, matlab ki uh, agar hum dekhe 600 million urban areas mein uh, matlab or living in urban areas so huge amount of money is to be spent on the infrastructure on the infrastructure for the job creation for their uh, habitat matlab wo kahan rahenge unke liye so there is huge investment is needed so with regard to that we need uh, the finance section finance commission need to 
have its look on local bodies and how they should be financed agar hum current situation dekhenge 75% jo finances hai local bodies ke they are from center and state aur 25% they get from different sources maybe for example property tax and uh, and others so we can see here that the, our local bodies are uh, highly dependent on the center and the state they require very good uh, if they if local bodies want to get money from the market it is not very easily e- easily available to them because they require a very good credit rating to get the money from the market which is one of the concern for them to raise their money and also <coughs> if we should know that in 13th finance uh, this uh, uh, 13th finance commission it made certain observations uh, we could see that certain local bodies made uh, uh, by certain governments they were called parallel authorities we saw the overlap of functions between local bodies and those parallel authorities so these were these are the some of the uh, focus points for the 16th finance commission matlab mainly the local bodies and their financing in local bodies we should know that the 75% comes from the center and the states and 25% they generate by themselves by the, via different sources unka major source of generation hai uh, property tax or uh, through issuing local body through issuing uh, municipal bonds but uh, to get the market to get the money from the market they need very good uh, rating which is very difficult और अगर हम देखेंगे जो स्पेंडिंग हमें चाहिए दैट इज़ वेरी मच ह्यूज सो देर इज ह्यूज मिसमैच इन इट सो दिस इज द कंसर्न फॉर दिक्कसटीन फाइनेंस कमीशन विच दे हैव टू लुक इन टू नाउ जून जी एस सॉरी इट इज अबाउट एन आई गिवज एन आई ए गिवज कंसेंट टू इंजीनियर रशीद टू टेक ओथ बिकॉज ही वेंट टू द हाई कोर्ट ही हु इज इंजीनियर रशीद ही इज अ पॉलिटिशन फ्राम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर ही इज करंटली इन प्रिजन because of some money laundering case yet it is not proven but he is under the custody so he uh, he was a candidate in the uh, in the elections and he won the parliamentary election now he is still in jail so he went to the high court to get the permission uh, to get the bail so that he can take the oath in in with this regard the nia they gave their consent to engineer rashid to take oath is with this topic we have to agar hum heading dekhenge is topic ki this is not this heading is not important for us but what is important are these articles which we have, we should know first we should know the article 99 what does it say that if elected member uh, as uh, as has to take the uh, res- to take the responsibility of the parliament they have to take oath uh, in front of the president so both of the uh, elected member in front of the president is uh, mentioned in article 99 then we have article 1014 either member of the parliament if the member of the parliament remains absent for 60 days without prior permission will be revoked matlab ke agar matlab ye oath lega fir isko wapas jail mein jana hai if uh, he remains absent for 60 days what would be the uh, his what would be the result of his seat so in it one article 101 it is uh, uh, said that he should take the prior permission <clears throat> before getting ab- if he is absent for 60 days if he is not taking this uh, prior permission he will be his uh, seat would be revoked then we have representation of people act 1951 per section 8 sub section 3 what does it say it says if a person is convicted what will happen they will lose the membership it is as simple as they, that so this is a small article in which we should know these article three articles article 99 it, it talks about the oath of the uh, of the uh, parliamentarian in front of the president then we have article 101 section 4 it talks about the absence of the uh, parliament member for more than 60 days without any prior permission he would be revo- his seat would be revoked then we have representation of people act 1951 section 8 sub section 3 it talks about if a person is convicted what uh, his seat he will lose the membership then
forward we have project nexus it is between the rba and asia four asian member countries which are those four asian member country it is thailand malaysia singapore and finland it is related to the transfer of money through fast payment systems like upi for example agar hame paise send karne hote we would go through google pay or something related to that wo seconds within a fraction of second those things happen those transactions happen but agar hame wahi transaction from different countries karne ho cross border it takes some time so to reduce that time uh, we are uh, uh, making this project to nexus uh, it would help matlab ki ye connect karega jo unka payment system hoga with ours and it would uh, by that the transfer of money would take within these countries to, between india and within these countries uh, the money would be transferred within a second so it would reduce the time uh, gap which was earlier and it would help in reducing the costs in it we should know that the, these are the four members which is thailand malaysia singapore and finland and also we should know that the indonesia is the special observer in the project nexus so this was in nutshell about the project nexus then our next topic is india wants south korea to drop tariffs we have the comprehensive economic partnership agreement is, you know this agreement it is beyond the scope of the trade yahan pe hum dekhenge patent laws all that stuff so uh, we had signed this between india and south korea so what does india demand for from south korea to reduce the tariffs usually kya hota hai ki हमारे जितने भी एग्रीमेंट से वो हैड सीन द वाइडनिंग ऑफ ट्रेड डिफिशिट मतलब कि जो जिस कंट्री के साथ हमारा सीपा या कोई ट्रेड एग्रीमेंट है उनका ट्रेड हमारा ट्रेड डिफिसिट होता है और उनको वो फायदे में चलते हैं व्हाट इज़ द रीज़न फॉर दैट इसका मेन रीज़न ये है कि वी आर फोकस्ड ऑन लो वैल्यू प्रोडक्ट्स एंड द कंट्रीज विच आर नॉट विद द कंट्रीज विच वी हैड दिस ट्रेड विद दे आर फोकस्ड ऑन हाई वैल्यू प्रोडक्ट्स because of that this trade deficit is there now to the next article which is uh, unesco's creative city network uh, uh, in it we, have, we should know the, the sdg goal 11 it sure it sure it says that to ensure exclusive growth in these cities these are the creative city networks with this record it is uh, a recent conference was held in portugal and got the city of music so these are few important points which we should know in this article